Okay, now we want to go, yeah, see, and get that chest back. Oop, hello. Down there. Which means we need to go down the south part of this room. This one will take a little bit longer, but it's worth it. Gotta get the full complete. Do everything there is to do. Yeah, watch out for the rats. I don't think there's a, there's a rat hole anywhere that you can uh, put bait in front of. But there's, they will still have to be... Hello, Mr. Boat. I don't really want you. Sorry, Mr. Boat. Rejected. Not quite gonna make it. Oh, well, look at that. No, I did. Awesome. I can swim over here. Ugh, more yellow jellies. In the way. What, what flavor would yellow jelly be? Would be like a apricot marmalade or something, maybe? Who knows? Excuse me. Just gonna come in here where the eyeball is. Oh, hello. Got another bubble. Down here. Huzzah! A puzzle is solved. That's what that sound means to me. That's what it says in my head. Huzzah! A puzzle is solved. Look at the chest with the heart in it. Nicely done. It's a joy pendant! No, I'm just kidding. It's a treasure chart. Yes, so I did want to get this, for sure. Treasure charts are important. We want, we're we're going to try and dig up all 50 of those, if possible. There will be a video dedicated entirely to treasure charts, I think, if it works out that way. It may just be that we have a series where we go from island to island and I try and find things to do. Take out treasure charts and look out for whatever there might be in that particular square on the map. And if at all possible, it'd be nice to sort of just go around the map and do everything. Of course, we'll have to do some things before others, just because, you know, it's a Zelda game, there's going to be some areas that aren't accessible until the end, there's going to be some areas that you can't access until you've beaten this dungeon and gotten that item and unlocked this thing and whatever, you know. Anyway, we're just going to roll back up here and get back to what we were doing. I think that the last thing we'd done before we started backtracking was we had gotten the second statue and had unlocked a door for us, I think. So we'll probably just go that way. You know, we'll probably just go forward. That makes sense, right? <sighs> but yeah, jumping to these moving platforms is a bit... What's that platform up there doing? Really, though, what's it doing there? That's weird. I don't think you can get to that. I don't know why it's there. But yeah, the ow, jeez. Jumping from one moving platform to another is sort of like aiming off. I think I talked about aiming off in a in a previous video. At some point, I talked about it. It's an orienteering technique where say that you hello oh too far too far too far that was close. Say that you want to go you're lost in the woods and you want to of course get out of the woods. Uh, Oh, hello. Oh, gotcha. Sweet. And you know that north of you, there is a road that runs east-west that you want to uh, get to. And there's something like maybe the ski lodge or wherever it was that you were last not lost. Uh, and that's where it is, is on that road just about due north of you. So what do you do? You just head due north and then you uh, get to the road, and you don't see the ski lodge. You look left, you look right, you don't, you don't see it. So, what now? Do you go left or do you go right? You don't know. <laughs> there's, no real, there's no real way to know. And so, the, what, the, what an orienteer would do is would, you'd purposefully go just a little bit to the side. Go a little bit, you know, northeast. Go a little bit too far to the right, so that you know when you get to the road, that you gotta turn left. Because if you get to the road and you don't know which way to go and you go the wrong way, you know, you could be wandering off in the wrong direction for Lord knows how long and get yourself even more lost. So if you aim off, you actually uh, give yourself more information to go on. You plan ahead and you provide a way out. So it's like correcting right and then going back left once you get there. These platforms are the same way. What I like to do is, I'll give an example here, is jump when it's too far away, but moving towards you. I just missed that time. It's a bad example. <laughs> Doesn't matter. It puts us back at the door. So you want to basically jump when they're moving towards you, 
but you have to do it when they're too far off, or when it looks like they're too far away. Just barely too far away, of course. So, that's sort of like aiming off. Dang it! Freaking. Alright. Alright, bats. Alright. This is the one room in the dungeon that has water that doesn't go up and down, it just sits there. Where's the other bat? It's always at least a few of these. Freaking sit still. Alright, come on now. Gosh, they made it like impossible to free aim these guys in this game. You have to lock on, don't you? I know he's just gonna try and come over and get me while on the ladder. I know it's gonna happen. <sighs> Alright, where did he go now? Oh, I thought he was coming after me just then. Oh, I, that should have been a hit. That looked like I got him. Whatever, I'm not gonna waste the rest of my arrows. Can I need some arrows here? Nope. Alright, whatever. Let's just solve the puzzle. Yeah, it's a... It's a weights puzzle. One of those statues weighs the same as Link. Let's go down here and blow up this wall. Here, catch. <laughs> Sweet. Oh, I want that heart. Gotcha. What the heck is back here? Oh, look at this. It's one of these rooms. Fancy things on the floor? You know that means you gotta show that you're the wing you're, you're the you're the wind wanger. The wind waker. So you just play the wind's requiem. The wind's requiem is sort of like the Zelda's lullaby of Wind Waker. It's the song that you use to prove that you have and or slash are the wind waker, the waker of the winds. It proves your sort of legitimacy. And we got a spiky chest on a nice triangle symbol. So this treasure chart looks uh, nice and blue. If you know what I mean. Come on, not enough text, thank you. I wish that they had not done... Ow! What? <laughs> Designs that reflect the wind are drawn here. Okay, cool. I already figured that out, but thanks. <laughs> He's reading the ground instead of rolling away. Link, you are ever the inquisitive hero. Okay, so, one more time. So toss one guy over here. Oh, excuse me, and then we'll hop on this. Okay. I need one more statue. I love they made it that they made it so you can grab those ladders halfway down. That's just sweet. That sort of stuff in games is, is really awesome. Where you can shortcut things. That's why it's so satisfying. Do we have a small key? Oh, yeah, we do. Okay, when do we get that? I'm not paying attention. <laughs> Alright. What have we got here? Button that turns off lasers? And a statue behind the lasers. Okay, well, I think this looks like it's high enough for us to use the leaf to just get over there. Is that what they intended here? I think so. That looks good, yeah. Plenty of room. Come on. Get down from there, you crazy statue. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Oh, yes. And now we'll just... Oh, don't point up there. What are you doing? I didn't know you could do that. Oh, it mutes it. Oh, or makes it louder. Interesting. That's not... What are you doing? <laughs> Sorry, wrong song. <laughs> we haven't learned that one yet. Actually, I think that was just wrong. I don't think that any song starts like that, except for The Wind's Requiem. <laughs> it's not in 4-4 four, four time, it's in 3-4. Alright. Right through the lasers. Oh, yeah. I like the way he sits when he's... Like, the way that Link puts his hands out while he's controlling the robot, or controlling the statue. It's just, he looks so cool. Oh, we got a wizard rope. Get down there. Gotta be quick with these. Where are you? Asshole. Oh, sorry in the water. It's fine with me. I don't know if wiz robes drop anything good for you. I think they usually just drop money or, or uh, magic pots. I feel like that's all you ever get from them. Whoops. Oh, good, it grew back. I love it. <laughs> Jeez, it's like a chia pet. 
You just cut it and then the next day it's back. Holy crap. I think oh pfft. <laughs> oh wow. I love these inflatable statues we got. It's great, you just need one and you just pop and there it is. Pops one out of the floor. There we go. Once you've got three of them on there, it'll be heavier than you two, so you can Okay, what was that? I picked them up and we got heavier? How does that work? <laughs> Doesn't make any sense. Oh, I guess it makes about as much sense as the iron boots. Jeez. It's like, oh, they're only, uh, they're only heavy when you're wearing them. Right. If you have them in your pocket, you don't sink or anything. That makes sense. <laughs> oh my gosh. That's just crazy. It's Nintendo logic for you there. Speaking of which, have you guys ever heard of the webcomic uh, Awkward Zombie? If you haven't, you should look it up. It's, uh... One of the funnier ones I've found, actually. It's a very, very good, uh, some sort of astute video game humor. And it's, it's a lot of jokes from uh, Super Smash Bros. and uh, Legend of Zelda. And what was the other one that she does a lot of? Oh, Team Fortress 2. So if you play any of those games, you'll probably get the joke. <laughs> so, highly recommended. Awkward Zombie. What you want? What have we got here? Got statues. Alright, let's carry them around. Why not? Ah, yes, and we have buttons. All right, cool. Well, this couldn't have this couldn't have gone better. Goodness. Well, thought you got some BMOs over here. Don't know what they're really doing besides guarding a couple small pots on the floor. If that's what they want to do, I say we just let them guard the small pots. Doesn't matter to me. Now, here's the biggest cop out in any Zelda dungeon ever. They just give you the boss key. Here it is. It's not even out of the way. Like you have to go through this room in order to get to where the boss is. And it's just a really easy, obvious puzzle. So I feel like that's probably the easiest boss key. <laughs> just no problem. Oh, and then the tattoos get mad at you. I guess that makes it a little bit harder. Whatever. Oh, and we have to kill them in order to get out. Alright. Fine. So these guys are weird. They have pink butts. They're like baboon statues. That's what we'll call them. Baboon statues. And, uh... Basically... Ah, uh, watch out. You want to hit the, their... In the but they're kind of a pain in the ass, actually, because what you can do is shoot them in the eye. Dang it. No, not the farther away one. Ugh. And that'll stun them. Hit them. No, no. Do a, do a jab. Like, there you go. Goodness. And that'll stun them. Ow. Ran right into the beam mouse. Dang it. This is supposed to be easy. It was supposed to be a three hour tour. There we go. Thank you. Can I leave now? They, they do the same whoa, 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 before they blow up like their bigger brothers do. <laughs> Crazy statues. Oh, we got a birdie. We're outside again. I love these dungeons that take you outside for a portion. It's just really cool. Of course, you can use the bow on the sky if you want to, but I'm out of arrows, so... Crap. Alright, where are you? I'm over here. <laughs> it's like an angry cat. <laughs> Come here. I want your feather. Thank you. Oh wow, I killed him with a boomerang. I didn't even know you could do that. Oh look, he dropped arrows for us. Great. So you guys are supposed to uh, shoot these guys with your bow in order to get rid of them. But we don't have a bow. So I'm going to... Oh, dang it. I'm going to... Oh, shit. I'm invincible! <laughs> yes, that works too. There's an, actually a really creative way to do this. It takes a bit of precision. Haha! <laughs> I'm a ninja! A ninja and a swordsman! Can't stop me. Now the shielding thing does not work here. Oh, hello. I'll hit your feather and hit you in the face with a boomerang. <laughs> Feels good. You didn't give me any arrows. Jerk. Alright. This is gonna be precise. Oh, that was nimble as fuck. Link, you were awesome. Alright, and here we got... Ah, fairy? Oh, nom 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 nom. Here's some arrows. Ah, okay, there's some. Alright, cool. And the boss. Let's do it. Green door. I like the style. What have you got here? 
Ah, this guy looks familiar. You have done well to find your way to this place. Thanks. Oh, chosen one. Accept this final challenge. Oh, okay, what is it? Oh, it's a boss fight, right. That makes sense. We did, have to, we did have to use the big key to get into this room, so this makes sense. This makes perfect sense. I finally understand. Yep. And so, Bongo Bongo Reboot begins. Blatantly ripped off boss, but whatever. Alright, so he's got his eyes closed. Basically, you want to... Look at this. What a jerk. You want to shoot him in the eyes. And right now he's only got eyeballs on his hands. There you go. Come on. In the eye. Thank you. One's to stun and then another to kill. Or if it's sitting still, you just get him. And of course, once his eyes are open, unload on him. Oh, he's gonna do this thing here. He wants to not be hit by this thing here. So, get a good move horizontally to try and dodge that one. Get him in the eye. Yes. The funny thing is, he sneezes out more arrows for you. So, the rest of this fight is going to alternate between me killing him and him sneezing more arrows out. Apparently, that's what it does him when he's in distress. And then he opens his big fat mouth, just like his little brother's, and you put a bomb in there for him. Cool. That's all it takes. That's all it takes. I guess I have to shoot another hand. Am I going to have to kick some ass? Come here. Sit still so I can hit you in the eye. Damn it. You freaking hand. Come here. Oh, Lord. Oh, you're awake now. I'm out, of, I'm out of arrows again. Thanks, dude. Thanks for sneezing those up for me. Oh, good Lord. It's irritating because they... There you go. No, that wasn't it. No, that wasn't it. Oh, okay, good. Oh, he missed me. Come on, hit him in the eye. There you go. It's like even when you're locked on, Link still doesn't always hit him where you're, where you're locked on to. Yeah, he's going to do an attack and then we'll hit him with the last two arrows. Which might mean he sneezes instead of get, getting damage, which would suck. Oh yeah, I missed him that time, actually. Yeah, I did. <laughs> Come here. Let me shoot you in the eye. And get a bomb in the mouth. Ha ha! And now I think he gets kind of aggressive. He might open his eyes before even going after the hands, maybe? No, he doesn't want to. Alright, fine. There it goes. You know you can you know you got it when you hear that ba ching sound. There it is. You know that sound. It's a success sound. We're hitting things with arrows. Same time as the other eye makes, we can take it out. Okay, yeah, you don't have to actually move that fast. Just get a good horizontal action on him. Don't get too close to him when you're shooting these, because you'll hit him right in the nose, and you will not hit the eyes. The cool thing is, if you run under him while he's trying to do that breath attack, it'll stop. And... One last bomb. Get the freaking hands out of the way. <laughs> one last bomb in the mouth. To finish the job. The path can now be opened. O oh, Chosen One. What will now come to pass is tied to your fate, to the path that you have chosen. Let's go forward with caution. Alright, whatever you say, Dorman. Oh? There's a hole in the ceiling. Huh. Oh, so is it the gods that make these warp portals for me to get out of the dungeons? Maybe. Where's my heart piece, dude? Heart container. Oh, he sneezes that out too? What the hell, man? That's gross. I don't care, because I got a new heart container! Your life energy's been increased by one, plus your life gauge has been replenished. Hell yeah, that makes eight hearts. <laughs> you know, we cool. Cat's got nine lives, Link's got eight hearts. It's pretty good. Pretty friggin' good. Oh, what is this? We're on top of the tower. And there's a ladder! Does anyone else think that this whole area here was totally stolen and copied when they made Twilight Princess? There's an area in Twilight Princess that looks just like this. 
And up here, we have a grapple point. Probably the coolest one in the game. a little different than the others. See some treasure down there? You have done well, Poncho. It would seem the gods have acknowledged you to be a true hero. Well, finally, I've already killed a few bosses in some dungeons. But this does not mean your trials have ended here. Once you take your first step into the world beyond the Ring of Light, you see shimmering in the waves before you. Your true trial will begin. Are you ready, Poncho? Mm-hmm. Alright, so let me get my grappling hook out here, and we will sort what? Oh, god, what are we doing? Aren't these warps supposed to send us up? Hold your breath, Link. Oh god, no, hold your breath. And he died. Oh no, never mind, it's, it's cool. He doesn't seem happy about it, though. <laughs> This place looks strangely familiar. Huh. It's like... Oh, it's just like it. Except maybe in the 1950s, because everything's black and white. Hmm. Where are we, Mr. Boat? You are probably wondering where we are, aren't you? Well, you're a sharp one. Unfortunately, there is not enough time for me to explain it to you now. Once you are able to strike down Ganon with the item you obtain in this castle, all will be made clear to you. Huh. Trust in my words. See what awaits you in the castle. Okay. We shall. In the next episode of Let's Play Legend of Zelda The Wind Waker, Thank you guys so much for watching, and we'll see you next time.